I would like to show you a couple of uh, tor uh, torrent simulations, torrent flows. So this is a classic case. It's, it's mainly a case that you will see for validation or developing models. So this is what we call DNS simulation, the numerical simulation. So here we are resolving all the scales. So here we're talking about the Reynolds tau, which is kind of 20 times the normal Reynolds, and we are using the, the, these properties. But here, look at the, the structures at the wall, this streaks here, and the instantaneous flow. Okay, so here we have the what, what we call wall-bounded turbulence, but also we have in the, the core turbulence in the middle of the body. And this solution is interesting because we, we have also a known solution. Later, we are going to address all this theory. We're going to see from where these values are coming and what are those values. But look at that here, according to the solution, the, the, the solution will tell me that the shear stress of the wall should be equal to one Pascal. Okay, so we're going to see that. And so you see here, it's a small, it's a very small domain, okay? So here we have uh, boundary conditions and basically this kind of simulation, what you do is you set everything periodic here, here, and here, and tight on bottom and walls. So periodic means that what is going on here is entering here. Okay, so this is to, to kind of to simulate infinite domains. So this is a problem in DNA simulation that we're resolving all these scales, space and time. We need to do in very small domains, solving complete configurations of airplane cars buildings, it is out of the, 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 the computational resources that are, are available today, it requires too many uh, resources. So this is a kind of measure that you will see. So later in the theory, we're going to see some values, some quantities called Y plus, how we compute that. But see that here we're resolving the boundary layer. So we need to integrate the equation. So in every cell center, we're computing the solution. And this is the solution that we have. So here also we're comparing DNS and less simulations. So both of them are scale resolving simulations. We're resolving all the scales, as you see here. Solutions are very similar. So here, we are not introducing models. Here we introduce a less model. We can use wall functions. Later we'll see what, what, what are those wall functions and we can save some time. Okay, but it still is something computationally expensive. So again, we compare both solutions. We see that they are very similar. So here we can see that uh, the less model, we're introducing that model, but it seems that there are no, no modeling errors. It's still open the question is there are some discretization truncation errors everything related to the ma to, to the mesh and here we compare so this what we see here are instantaneous solution but most of the time for practical application what we want is the average solution so now we go an next step so what you are running you compute the average and see here that we have dna's less and, and runs Okay, it's got resolving these two runs. It's not a scope resolving, it's Reynolds Alvaro solution, it's steady simulation, extremely fast. But as you see, you see that there are some differences, okay, but they are small. Okay, so then when we go and we compute again also the mean shear stress, we know that it should be about one Pascal. See so here that this you integrate here, you will get that value. But look at that. The runs model where we're putting that heavy model. Is, comp is getting a value of one, okay? And again, we go here and we sample somewhere in the domain for the scale resolving simulation. This is later or something that, don't, that we need to understand the instantaneous fluctuations, okay? So when we have a turbulent flow, see that we have these fluctuations. Okay, so this fluctuation will generate, well, later we see kin uh, turbulent connected energy, okay? So responsible for that turbulence of the wall and the core. Okay, and see that every time set you will have a different field here, but then we average and we have this one. So here we compare the DNS and less average, these two, and then we have the <coughs> the run. So this is a classical uh, a profile, velocity profile, average velocity profile for a turbulent flow. Later also we're going to see when we start to do the work where the hand send that the laminar profile is very different to this one. And uh, here, we compute the instantaneous. So look at that, we have three cut planes, three different positions where they are sampling. See here that in every single instant we have different fluctuations, okay? So this is what 
this is turbulence, okay? Those instantaneous fluctuations that generate those characteristic coherent scales and give me this profile that have large shear stresses to the walls, but also here in the mean, also enhanced mixing. So these are very interesting properties of, of turbulent flow. Okay, so, and now we look at, at the instantaneous values we integrated at the wall. Remember that we have here a solution, a theoretical solution that should be one Pascal and see that the DNA is unless, okay, those fluctuations that we have. So look at that, we need to let it run a lot of iterations. So here we're looking at iteration, but time, it was like 100 seconds, which takes a lot of time up to the stabilizer and we get a solution close to one. But look at what happened here when we put a RANS mobile, it goes precisely to the solution, a small solution. And what is interesting here that using the same mesh, the RANS mobile just took approximately one hour using one core, okay? Instead, the DNAs and this model bus took approximately 150 hours, like five, six days in eight cores with a CFL less than one. Okay, later in the tutorial, we're going to see what, what is the CFL, but see here, and here we see the importance why we are interested in using grants, okay? So as this, we saw that the physics, we have this interesting physics, very com complex physics, these coherent structures, okay? that everything can be resolved using the RANS model. One thing that the RANS model is steady, okay? Also, we don't need to go and iterate in time. We just keep doing an iteration, okay, without time, and we can achieve a much, much faster convergence. Here we compare the solution, okay, the theory gets all, so see that the difference is very small. So this is a very nice application where we see the difference between all the models, okay, so we saw runs, less, and DNA, and this is okay if you would like for your final project, you can try to reproduce this case, but now I'm giving you the warning that it's very time consuming case. So another example that I would like to show you are some other applications. So let me show you these three applications. So the first one is the vortex shelling past a square cylinder. So this is a three-dimensional uh, scale resolving. So remember previously we were talking about runs steady. Now we can also talk about runs, but U runs, unsteady runs. So see very different models, very different solutions. So this is usually what we we, we associate turbulence now with this chaotic be behavior, but also Later in the tutorial, we'll see that it's something also that is in the do you have it in the velocity profile. It's not only it's not only the chaotic behavior with the velocity profile, but all forces at the world. Everything is part of the, the turbulent flow. So see that all of them, qualitatively speaking, we see that there are different solutions. Again, the RAN simulation was the fastest one. This one where a little bit slower, where well, a little bit much, much slower as we see here. So see also the difference here that even if qualitatively speaking, everything seems to be nice, see here that when we compare, when into compute integral quantities, we start to see differences. So here we have experimental values. Okay, so there is a lot of margins of error, a lot of uncertainty, but see that when we add the turbulence model, everything start to to fit with the, to get closer to experimental value. The laminar solution highly overpredict the drag coefficient, also the stroll number, the computing time also is very large. It's about more than one day. And see the less this all the simulation get closer, less than the DNS, and then we go to the run simulation, the one that we didn't have time here, but it gets very close. So the problem with this one will be that we will not be able to compute stroll number, but also we have the urans, okay? On the steady runs, also get very close, very good agreements when it comes to stroll and low computing time. Okay, so this is what we want to, to, to use turbulence models. And again, there is a whole theory behind that here. We see that we have wall functions and no wall functions. So depending on the approach, I can get even faster a solution. Again, we should be aware of the limitation of wall functions, the use of wall functions that we're going to study that during the course. So then another nice application. So now we go into the fully runs War. Okay, this is state simulation, a very complicated geometry. So we have this airplane, so we have geometry, everything. So we see that we have a compressible flow. And 
one of the things that this is a very large domain and we nevertheless we, we have a relative quartz measure the measure here is about 10 million cells but also is fine enough to resolve boundary layers so look at that it's a very large domain but even though we managed to get uh, a relatively small mesh so we compute solution pressure contours so we have different angles with different views so here we also we plot <coughs> a coupling there in the, in the wind so here we can see also that there is kind of a chop wave so the interesting thing is that turbulence flow they, they are not only limited to incompressible you have it also incompressible and there can be an interaction between the chuck wave and the boundary layer can make sense a little bit more trickier to compete okay and now we have the characteristic now the winded vortex that we all, all have seen or we think we know what it, what, what, what it is. So see that we have this vortex here that is very well resolved. Okay, again, around the nacelle also we get some instructors to win. But what is important here that we're putting a RANS model. So in one point, we try to run the simulation without the RANS model of the terminal MOBA, the solution will be completely different. It will be like the cylinder case, the square cylinder will values that will be highly over predicted. And here also we have this nice area here, the soils body separation bubble here. So look at that by adding the right model, okay, and the right condition, we managed to resolve this one very close to the experimental one. Again, if we use we do a DNS or laminar simulation, this is likely probably that we, we were not going to capture this area here. And again, we compare this one with <clears throat> with experiment, this is a case that we have experimental data, and you see that we have a very nice fit. Uh, these are relatively fast simulations, by the way. This is running, I think, is a what we call 12 processors, so it's also that can take about two, three hours, okay? Better for the vessel solution. So, again, importance of turbulence modeling. And the final one that I want to show you is uh, F1 and Platoon formulation. So, for those, we went, we went from out of space now to the out automotive industry and we have this <coughs> formula one car so look at here again uh runs trans model and look at here so here there are many things happening these are some stuff that probably we, we will address later so here you need to have a moving ground and possible under conditions on the wheel like they're rotating and things like that but look at that here we have the string lens releasing and what is interesting when we plot the pressure and this is the new car that, that, that we have and what is interesting here is see that the one in the front one is producing so this one is not like an airplane that they are producing lift force this one are producing downforce just to keep it stick to the ground so here see here that the rear wind and front wind here just qualitative so speaking you can see that the values in the front one are much much or not much much but are larger and the one in the back sees smaller values, but everything is due to the wake. Again, this wake, everything that is happening here is due to the turbulence model. If I disable that turbulence model, or so I put another turbulence model, I will have different behaviors. Might be the right or the wrong solution, who knows? So here we see also in the bottom. So see that with the difference in pressure between bottom and top. It's larger here, so <coughs> will give you a larger downforce and here we see the weight so look at here that the way in the front one is influenced the rear wind and this one will reduce the pressure but what is interesting this one is you see the new rules regulations that for the formula one this is the new wind so this one is deflecting this way upwards to reduce this one so here we are not, we are not showing the the quantitative results not the, the actual downforce but by just shifting deviating this way upwards the car we are reducing the the reduction in the, in the downforce in, in, in the rear car is about 20 20 30 percent instead in the new in the old cars it was the the downforce reduction can be up to 50 percent and just by using CFD, you see that managed to design a good rear wind to decrease the munition that radiation that is no more than 20% of this downfall. And here we have another view. So here we see how this wave influences this one. And the situation gets more is get worse as get closer here. So it will be closer to this one. 
So these are songs that Bentash has used in CFD, but also it's important to to, use, to know what we're doing to use the right model. So this is always, uh, this case is also available. So let me know if you're interested in any of these cases. The problem is that these cases, the meshes are kind of large, so probably you're going to have fun with your license that you're using. But let me know if you're interested in any of these cases, you want to discuss for different cases, and we can arrange, arrange that for your final product. We, this slice again will be in the additional material in the website. So enjoy and see you next time. Bye.